Hi, Marcin. Um, the first question, I just spoke a few days ago to, to Alexander uh, Volkov and uh, uh, he said very nice things about you and one of that was that uh, he was observing you even during the M1 days and he sees uh, your progress and he sees that now your stand-up game is better and he said that you don't you are you aren't afraid to to trade in stand-up right now so do you feel uh, that you really gained the confidence uh, in the stand-up I think the confidence was built by uh, everything what's happened in the uh, past uh, last year and you know the win streak I actually make some uh, some changes in my mind before that but the win streak make it even stronger I have like uh, lots of you know good uh, feelings about Alexander Volkov too, but right now no one to say this because it's too close to the fight, and we are we are going to you know to to go at each other crazy. So yeah, he he he's a great guy, great fighter, tough opponents, but that uh, that's uh, things I'm going to use it to to bring excite fight. And the next the next thing is that uh, the previous opponents that beat him. Uh, they were uh, like right away catapulting into the title shot contention. It was Derek Lewis who, who beat him and then uh, he fought uh, Daniel Cormier, then uh, Cyril Gunn. And I wonder, do you think about that, that kind of things? That uh, he's the, the name that if you, if you beat him, uh, you will be right up there in the top. Well, it's, it is in my mind that uh, beating him will bring me there in a, in a mix. So, uh, yeah, but uh, for sure, when it comes to the goal, everyone wants to see an uh, exciting fight. And I want to be excited fighter that, you know, when I will be scheduled with the champion, the people will be waiting for this fight and, and get the great emotion. So, right now, I'm, I'm just focusing on, you know, building this my position as an exciting fighter. And... You know, I have a very good partner to, to you know, to show it on, on Saturday. Okay, and uh, last one from me. Uh, in Polish media, you said that you think you need uh, two more fights to, to get the title shot. So, uh, out of these top guys, like uh, we know Derek Lewis, uh, Cyril Gunn, Stipe Miocic, uh, which, which of these fights would be the most exciting to you? Outside title shot, of course. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a good question. Um, it's not much, many fighters there in front of Alexander Volkov, uh, but you know the the great thing would be a rematch with Derek Lewis. He's there, but he's right now he's scheduled, so I'm I'm you know open for anything that's happened after this. But for sure, for sure, this, as I said, that I need to build my name a little bit more. To, to get this chance, and uh, whoever they're ready after, after Alexander, I'm, I'm willing to, to fight with. Okay. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Uh, Volkov's obviously known for his striking, he's very technical. He, do, he does have a lot of knockouts, but he kind of defeats his opponents with a lot of volume and then puts them away. So would you say that his technic technical ability and his accuracy is his biggest weapon compared to just raw power, like a Derek Lewis or Francis Ngannou? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's a very technical in the stand-up. Uh, he's got big reach and he know how to use it because it's not uh, really often what happened. And he goes forward. He's <coughs> I see him a little bit like a karate star going there. Uh, he's uh, he he know the takedown defense and that makes his uh, his stand up game uh, a little bit even dangerous. But you know we have some some game plan in my in my uh, head that uh, will, will, you know, will, will make it different. Well, speaking of your game plan, we've seen him face like high-level grapplers, high-level wrestlers like a Curtis Blades. He didn't really present any problems against Curtis. When you see a fight like that, is that just the blueprint right there to defeat Alex, Alex Volkov, just take him to the ground so he can't strike with you? Well, you know, it's it never come. I'm not the natural wrestler. I never I never wrestle like a pro. So uh, my wrestling game is like uh, bring uh, a little bit deeper water there in the stand up and then looking for a takedown. So I'm not, I'm not focusing about going there and and just take him down. I'm just I'm just focused on going there, see what he's capable of there in the stand up, and then change my game if if it's uh, if it's necessary. So. Uh, right now, I just see him standing there and start, you know, crazy fights from the beginning. Go in a deep water, see who's, car who's cardio better. Hi, Marcin. Uh, in the past, uh, you and Volkov uh, was performed in M1 Global. 
uh, was an option that uh, you could fight uh, with Volkov uh, maybe eight or ten years ago? Yeah, there was option for our uh, fight, but at the same time I uh, got offer from the UFC. And I also got offered to fight him, and I choose to go to UFC. It's not like I, I m he might say I refuse the fight, but you know I refuse it just to you know to go higher, to go to the to the big league, and yeah. But uh, that w does that thing happen? Uh, how do you remember Volkov in uh, this time? You know, I never uh, met him there, like live. I never saw his fights uh, being in the audience. But I remember him as, as right now, as a tough opponent, the guy who never gives up. He, he might be losing some fights, but he always, uh, you know, keep going forward and, uh, and getting higher, better. So I see him the same as he built his, his uh, position, his, uh, his style and, and, uh, uh, and build how good he is like, uh, for, for, for the years. Thank you. Thank you. more question hello um, we have two versions of Alexander Volkov uh, which version possesses uh, more danger I mean uh, the first one when he was skinny or the second one when he's bulked up right now um, it's, it's hard to say because you know I always uh, I always see fights when you go there and and just feel on your skin what your uh, opponent capable of uh, I don't know what's the reason he gained so so much weight, but that makes him a little bit dangerous in a in a wrestling and ground game. Mm, also, make him a little bit slower in a stand up. So, but but you never know. I, I just I tell you uh, uh, after Saturday. But don't you think he will be too strong in this aspect? I mean, as a strong as a, uh, his his power. Yeah. I, I think he's strong. He's been strong, but you know, it's not like I'm I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm uh, less strong than him. <laughs>